We've just come down to the beach and we've noticed there's quite a lot of shingle and loose slabs. So let's have a look through them and see if there's anything to find. As well as that, we're also going to be having a look at one of our best ever fossil bellum night finds. There's plenty to look forward to in today's video. First of all, Shay's going to have a look through some of this shingle and see if there's any obvious fossils just laid around ready to be picked up. Yeah. Worn belemnite with the fragma cone just starting to expose there. It's worn right through the belemnite, which is quite interesting because you can actually see the internal structures of the fragma cone there, which is pretty unusual. Unfortunately, not a keeper, so we'll keep looking. Well, this one's a little bit better. a really fresh bellum night. The tip's just under the shale there. Really pleased with that. Let's wash off all the loose mud. They always look so much nicer after they've been submerged in the water. It's got some lovely brown in it. It's a really nice specimen. That's an interesting first find. We've just had a walk along and we've noticed a really large limestone nodule. Shea is going to be cracking it open. Let's have a look. We've just spotted a huge limestone nodule in the distance over there. So let's have a closer look and then whack it. My safety glasses on. Little chunk just taken out there. Someone might have already tried to whack it and had no look. I can't see anything obvious. We'll see if there's anything inside. A few more taps. Let's have a look. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything inside. Some nice white calcite. Unfortunately not a fossil. Check this last little bit just in case. See a natural fracture just starting to appear there. So if we give it another whack. Completely empty. Nice. Lots of lovely calcite. But that's all that was inside. Let's have a look and flip some of these slabs, see if there's any fossils inside. crushed shells. It's always worth checking the underside of these slabs because you never know what you're going to find. Nothing under that one. I mean some of these slabs are huge you wouldn't be able to move them. Nothing on those. It's a crushed ammonite just here which looks pretty nice. I don't think it'll last very long. I think the seal rode that away pretty quickly. Keep looking. Now this slab's got loads of shells on. So I won't be surprised if there's quite a few shells on the other side too. Oh yeah. There's plenty of shells there. There's even a complete belemnite. It's just the tip that needs exposing. So if I grab the hammer and chisel, Expose that on camera. Put my safety glasses on. Now if we just lightly tap with the hammer, just to use the vibrations, just so that we don't damage the actual fossil, and we should be able to expose the very tip of the bellum night. It's so fragile when they're in the shale, you have to be really careful. You see the tip exposed there now. Get a few 
few more taps, really gently. And there we go. And that's a perfect vellum night. Even the fragma cones preserved, but slightly crushed at the back. But that's always the case with these types of fossils. It's nice to see the association with the shells too. Awesome. Right, really pleased with that. We've just been lifting some slabs to see what's exposed on the other side of the rock. And to our disbelief, we found a perfect vellum night exposed on this slab here. So let's flip it over and show you. So initially, when we saw the slab, we could see some crushed shells. And we thought, might as well check the other side. And flipped it over. And there's a perfect bellum night exposed. And that's just amazing. It's not one we'll be able to collect. If we try to chip it out the shale, it would just shatter. But it's so nice to see them exposed and so well defined. It's a lovely bellum night. After having a good look round, we managed to collect a variety of large limestone nodules. Really hopeful that we're going to get something nice out of them, but we can't be sure. Let's open them up and see. We found some perfectly round nodules. Let's crack one open and hopefully there's an ammonite inside. Few sparks flew there. Unfortunately, nothing in this one. See some of the natural oils just starting to escape from a ammonite body chamber there. It's a nice split. Nothing inside, unfortunately. What about one of the other ones? Let's give another one a go. Oh, that one's empty too. Oh well. Try the next one. Another empty one. We're not having much luck today. Oh, unfortunately, that one's empty. Got a perfect pyrite nodule here. Oh, there, there has been an ammonite, but unfortunately, it's split through the centre. There is a small one there. And if we look on this side, there's a, another small one just there as well. Just shows that they don't always split perfect. shale slab here contains a nodule but let's crack it out see if there's anything inside well, it's bigger than I expected the nodule is still going so maybe if we try and slab the actual Shale off the top. Get out. Put it 
side. There we go. Quite a lot thinner now. There we go, looks like. There we go. Looks quite flat. Usually they don't contain fossils, but we'll give it a crack. Moment of truth. Anything inside? Paratized shell just there. But nothing else. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will, however, these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils, or alternatively visit our official website, yorkshirefossils.net, for both ammonites to open yourself, as well as fully prepared specimens. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them, and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. Coming up next, we've got our incredible fossilised bellumnite. We've seen a number of fossil bellumnites in this video, but the one we're going to be showing you next is without a doubt one of the best ever fossilized bellumnites that we have ever found. Let's take a look at it. This bellumnite fossil has to be certainly one of our favorites that we have ever found. It's by far one of the biggest with a complete bellumnite guard and the Fragmacone. Just to give you a size idea, you can see my hand next to it. The Fragmacone is completely 3D. Highly, highly unusual. Not very often seen, especially when it's still attached to the original Bellumnite guard. A lot of people initially think they look like teeth or bullets. It's quite clear why people might think that, but it is a fossil of a squid-like creature from the Jurassic. It's very common to find these fossils, usually just finding pieces of them, usually worn and fractured and you don't very often find complete specimens especially with the phragmacone attached we do have a couple of other specimens which are equally and in some cases even more impressive than this one we'll be sure to show you those in a future video perhaps we could line a few of them up to give you a really good comparison of the size of a lot of these specimens as you can see, there's a few little, tiny little surface fractures. That's because the fossil is preserved in some really, really soft shale. Preparing a specimen like this might look to be quite easy, but especially cases like this, when it's in soft shale, it's actually quite tricky. What an impressive bellumnite specimen. I hope you've enjoyed that video, having a look for fossils and also seeing that incredible bellumnite specimen at the end of the video. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.